You know, since I've graduated, I've been doing this young adult thing, trying to figure my life out, trying to piece it together, become a functioning, successful young adult. And uh, it's rough, you know, because I was just in school not too long ago, and I was a pretty poppin' guy on campus. I was, I was known by several people. I had some good friends, you know. I had friends with several ladies, you know. I was good at getting the ladies, making some people, making connections, making things happen, bing, bang, bop. Since I graduated, I just haven't been the same. I just haven't been the same person. I feel just different. I feel like something has structurally changed within me, and I just feel sick almost in some ways. And just not, I just don't have the same pizzazz, the same zing that I used to. And I've been trying to, to, to think things out, doing some research, thinking about how can I better my life as a young adult, as a 22 year old trying to make his way. And I've really been making no, no ground. I'm not really learning anything, not really making any sort of revelations. And that's until recently. And I, I think I, I've maybe actually stumbled onto something that can help me out and, and get me in a better spot because it's been rough. Do you find yourself sitting around hoping your life will get better? You wait around thinking about the good old days and what could have been analyzing every decision you've ever made, going through every little thing you could have done differently. Sometimes, while you're waiting around watching life pass you by, you try and come up with ideas to make your life better. You see things on the internet talking about get rich quick, five steps to retire before you're 30, and all of these guys are the same. Have big muscles, nice clothes, big house, and of course, the classic supercar. You see them living with the life you think you should be living, and realize, hey, I want that. If only you had what they had, you could finally be happy. Well, wait no longer. Your future is here. The 2019 Chevrolet Express has everything you need and more. Cars.com gives it a 5 out of 5 for a reason. This puppy packs a punch, rocking a 2.8 liter four cylinder engine. 0 to 60, 15.1 seconds with up to 260. <coughs> <coughs> Oh my god, I actually almost just threw up. <coughs> what happened? Oh. Zero to 60 in just over 15 seconds with up to 246 cube feet of room. So no worries, you'll be sure to pick up any girl or guy that comes along your way. In fact, you might have a harder time keeping them out of your 2019 Chevrolet Express. That's right, believe it or not, that person was me in that video. I know, shocking to believe. Also, the Chevrolet Express has completely transformed my life. I have gone from a lost, wandering young adult to a prosperous, strong, firm man. Hey, why don't you hop in and see if we can't turn this into a wee haul? Sorry, no more room, car's full. Reality, that's not the case at all. <laughs> Told you about my car troubles and your boy had to rent a U-Haul because I had to get to Muncie. I had a gig to work in Muncie at 8 a.m. on Saturday and I had to get there somehow, so U-Haul was the way. I was supposed to have a U-Haul pickup truck, but no, the guy who had the truck before me did not return it on time. And the only other option they offered me was a 10 foot box truck until they called a lady named Joanne, who they seem to be friends with, say, go ahead, call Joanne, she'll take the upgrade. Asked her if she wanted a free upgrade, she, gave, she took the box truck, and I got that sexy, sexy express. Ooh. In all reality, uh, my car is now fixed. I took that U-Haul to Muncie and back for a day. Uh, it helped me out in a big way when I needed it though, so appreciate you, U-Haul and Chevrolet for making the beautiful vehicle of the Chevrolet Express. Oh man, what a piece of just masterful engineering and a masterful artistry. 
Oh, man. But on the real, uh, yeah, I, 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 I have been floundering and I still am floundering a little bit, but I feel good. I feel good. That's the most important thing. And I think it's mainly from one thing that happened within this last week, other than my car breaking down. I watched a movie with my brother called Everything Everywhere All at Once. And uh, this movie, I'm, without going into too much detail because who cares, uh, it's about a family. And this family, and it, it, they run this laundromat and it quickly devolves into this weird sort of mind-bending, inception sort of world. And in this weird world, they get to see all the different outcomes of their life and different ways their world could have played out. And they come to realize that they're in the best position they are in now because all of the other positions have their, their con, their pros, their cons. Yes, they're a celebrity, but they don't have the true love and the family aspect. Yes, they have the family aspect here, but it's not what it seems. It's a broken family that is falling apart. There's so many different outcomes that, and ways we can go in life, and it's really up to you to kind of choose, and every decision you make kind of plays out into the ultimate outcome of where you're going. But in reality, you just, just just be happy to be where you're at because nowhere you're going to be as perfect. No universe you could possibly live in will be perfect or this perfect dream world that you think you envision for yourself or that you think you can have. Nothing will ever quite be the best. It will never quite be what you think. So what you have now and the state you're living in now is the best place to be. Like, uh, I'm losing the, the core of the message. You should just watch the movie for yourself. but. The final message was just be happy where you're at. Like you be grateful to be where you are. And and it hit me, bro. It hit me right in the face. Oh man, I cried several times during the movie, three or four times towards the end. And at the after the end, I was crying. And even several minutes after it was over, I I didn't cry. I cried in bursts. But even a few minutes after it was over, I was looking at my brother and I was I was just like. Man, I, I love my brother so much. Oh, he, he means the world to me. I would do literally anything for him at any point in my whole entire life. I'm blessed to be even here in this position where I could be in a spot to help out my true blood brother. It, it really hit me right in the heart. I, I just I just soaked up that moment and I'm, I'm grateful to be where I'm at with the people that I have, the, the brother that I have. I wouldn't even want to be a different version of my brother. I'm glad I have this specific one because I got nothing else. So why, why like I, I'm blessed to be here. Uh, I gave him a kiss and a, and a brush on his head uh, after I stopped crying or collected myself and I actually brushed his like so I went to like brush his head and just give him a little smooch on his head but I moved my hand down a little too far and I brushed his eye as he was sleeping. Didn't wake him up but uh, he did roll over and I was like one of those things where you think oh they're gonna wake up but he didn't. Either way, big shout out to the Chevrolet Express. What a beautiful masterpiece. Thank you to U-Haul for giving me the free upgrade and allowing me to have a vehicle to be able to make it to work. And thank you, everything, everywhere, all at once for really kind of grounding me in, in the biggest way. And since I've watched that movie, I've been happy. I've been happier. I've been uh, happy-go-lucky. I've, I've like, it, it made my car troubles seem even sillier. Like, it's all good. It's all good. That's all for this week's episode of the Procrastinator Podcast. I don't even like the title of that. But that is all for this week's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. I have been your host, Matthew Stein. You have been fantastic as always. Uh, I very much enjoyed making this episode, so if you could, leave a like and subscribe and share it. And actually, if you've made this far, share this video, please. I, I really enjoyed making this video. Um, yeah. Peace out.